What if gravity suddenly stopped working? We take it for granted, the invisible tether that keeps our feet on the ground, our coffee in its mug, and our planet from disintegrating into cosmic dust. Gravity, it's the silent, ever-present force that shapes our universe. But what if, what if it suddenly stopped? Not just weakened, not just flickered, but gone, poof, vanished. This is what would happen if gravity left your side. Let's start small. You're sitting at your desk, enjoying your morning coffee. Suddenly, whoosh, gravity's gone. First, it's the subtle stuff. That coffee, mm -hmm. it's not staying in the mug anymore. Surface tension becomes the dominant force, forming a floating, spherical blob of caffeinated goodness. Probably not the most efficient way to start your day, though. Crumbs from your breakfast? They're no longer falling to the floor, but drifting around like tiny, irritating space debris. Dust mites, normally pulled down by gravity, now dance in the air, creating a swirling, miniature galaxy in your living room. Annoying, yes, but not exactly world-ending. Yet, because these small, seemingly insignificant effects are just the beginning of a cascade of increasingly bizarre and terrifying consequences that you're definitely not ready for. Now, things start to escalate. Remember, gravity doesn't just hold things down, it holds things together. Your body, for instance. While you're not going to explode immediately, that comes later. The subtle forces that maintain your internal structure begin to weaken. Your blood, no longer pulled downwards, starts to distribute more evenly throughout your body, leading to a puffy face and skinny legs. Not a great look. But worse, the fluids in your inner ear, responsible for balance, go haywire. Suddenly, you're experiencing the most intense vertigo imaginable. You're disoriented, nauseous, and desperately trying to grab onto something, anything, but grabbing is a problem too. Remember, the floor is no longer the floor. It's just there. Pushing off of it sends you floating, tumbling through the air, completely at the mercy of whatever stray currents of air happen to be drifting through your now gravity-free home. Your furniture, untethered, becomes a dangerous projectile, slowly orbiting your living room like a bizarre, out-of-control ballet. That bookshelf you were so proud of? Yup, it's coming for you. So, your apartment is now a chaotic, floating obstacle course. What would be a smart move? Trying to get outside, maybe? Fresh air, a change of scenery, what could go wrong? Well, everything. First, the atmosphere. Gravity is what keeps our air clinging to the planet. Without it, the atmosphere begins to dissipate. Not instantly, but quickly enough that you'd start to feel the effects. The air thins, the pressure drops, and you're struggling to breathe. Oxygen deprivation sets in, and that dizzy, nauseous feeling you had inside? It's amplified tenfold. But the real kicker? Remember that whole things floating thing? Yeah, that applies to you, too. The moment you step outside, you're no longer anchored to anything. You push off the doorway just slightly, and suddenly, you're drifting like a helium balloon. Slowly at first, then faster and faster as you leave the relative safety of your building. You're now a human satellite, tumbling uncontrollably into the black void of space. No spacesuit, no oxygen, no hope. Just you. Now that we're outside, things get worse and worse. Mountains, oceans, the very planet itself. Without gravity, the Earth just unravels. The immense pressure at the Earth's core, normally balanced by gravity, is suddenly unleashed. Volcanoes erupt, not with a fiery explosion, but with a slow, agonizing ooze of magma as the Earth's crust begins to crack and buckle. Another Pompeii for the people. And earthquakes of a scale we've never imagined rip across the surface, tearing apart cities and reshaping the landscape. Oceans, no longer bound by gravity's pull, begin to slosh and spill, flooding coastal areas and creating colossal tsunamis that dwarf anything in recorded history. The atmosphere, as we discussed, is thinning, but it's not just a matter of suffocation. It's also a matter of protection. The Earth's magnetic field, generated by the swirling molten iron in its core, which is also now behaving erratically, deflects harmful solar radiation. Without gravity, the magnetic field weakens, and we're exposed to a constant barrage of deadly particles from the sun. 
Think of it as a cosmic sunburn, only instead of peeling skin, your DNA gets fried. And the Earth itself? It's starting to lose its shape. No longer compressed by gravity, it begins to resemble a giant, wobbly jelly slowly drifting apart. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. A slow, agonizing disintegration. So we've established that the immediate aftermath of gravity's disappearance is not ideal. But what about the long game? What happens after the initial chaos subsides? Well, subsides might be the wrong word. The Earth, now a misshapen blob, continues to drift apart. The remaining atmosphere, thinned to near nothingness, offers no protection from the harsh realities of space. Temperatures plummet, and any remaining liquid water freezes solid. Life as we know it comes to a complete halt. The planet itself becomes a barren, frozen wasteland, a testament to the fundamental role gravity plays in shaping our universe. But it's not just Earth that's affected. The entire solar system feels the ripple effect. Planets, no longer held in their precise orbits, begin to wander, their paths becoming erratic and unpredictable. Asteroids, freed from the gravitational pull of larger bodies, become cosmic projectiles, hurtling through space with potentially devastating consequences. The delicate balance of our solar system, carefully sculpted by gravity over billions of years, is thrown into complete disarray. And on a larger scale, galaxies themselves are held together by gravity. Without it, they too would begin to unravel, their stars and planets drifting off into the vast emptiness of intergalactic space. But what about the biggest gravitational player in our solar system? The one that makes all life on Earth possible, the Sun. What would happen to it if gravity suddenly vanished? Well, the answer is complicated. The Sun is a giant ball of plasma held together by its own immense gravity. This gravitational pressure is what balances the outward force of nuclear fusion happening in its core. It's a delicate dance, a constant tug of war between these two forces. Without gravity, that balance is shattered. The outward pressure of fusion would suddenly become dominant, and the Sun would begin to expand. Not explosively, but gradually, becoming a larger, less dense star. However, that doesn't mean it would be peaceful. This expansion would have catastrophic consequences for the inner planets. Mercury and Venus would likely be engulfed by the expanding sun, becoming nothing more than vaporized remnants. Earth, if it survived the initial chaos we discussed earlier, would face a similar fate, slowly being roasted and swallowed by our dying star. But the effects wouldn't stop there. The weakening of the sun's gravity would also affect the outer planets. They would drift further away, their orbits becoming larger and less stable. The entire solar system would be reshaped, a cosmic game of musical chairs with planets as the players. But this would take a good few thousand years. The Earth wouldn't survive that long. The universe as we know it, the intricate tapestry of stars, planets, and galaxies, would be fundamentally altered, a chaotic, gravityless expanse. Okay, okay. Enough existential dread for one day, right? This channel isn't about fear-mongering, just hypotheticals. The universe is still here, you're still here, and gravity is still very much a thing. So, you can put that image of floating coffee and exploding planets out of your mind for a long time. Because, let's be realistic, the chances of gravity suddenly switching off are, well, they're essentially zero. Gravity is a fundamental force of nature, as intrinsic to the universe as time and space itself. It's not something that can just be turned on or off like a light switch. Our understanding of physics suggests that such a scenario is so improbable that it's practically impossible. So, the next time you're enjoying a cup of coffee, or simply appreciating the solid ground beneath your feet, take a moment to appreciate the silent, ever-present force that makes it all possible. Because without gravity, Let's just say you wouldn't want to be around to see what happens next. You're here right now, so enjoy the sunlight and a nice cup of tea with all those who share this moment with you.